Afternoon all. Um, first of all, I'm just going to do a little box opening. This is um, it's actually not a filtered pipe, but it was ordered last year, and for some, I don't know if it got lost or, or what. But I, I did a. It was bought on eBay. It's a Polish pipe, uh, and um, I don't know what happened. But after raising a query, it's very interesting. I raised the query two days ago, and suddenly it's arrived. So. Interesting. Anyway, this is not a filtered pipe, um, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it, but the price was right, so I went for it. stubborn getting it out of the uh, plastic but a very very nice pipe it's a lot nicer in the flesh I tell you what very very nice the drill on that is amazing I don't you can't see it there but yeah, you can see it just about that little speck at the, in the middle of the bowl there it's bang 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 center very very nice this is um it's got the nomenclature says on it SN pipes. Um, you can buy their pipes on um, House of Pipe on, on eBay. And um, a similar one to this went for crazy money. I, I was really surprised when I saw it. But, uh, so this one I actually got for a very nice price. So I'm very happy with that. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll smoke it or not. Um, but that's uh, very, very nice. Okay. A couple of things I wanted to. Uh, mention. I mentioned the other day that I would try to find out about aging pouches and that I would speak to Jermaine's. Um, I left them a message the other day, I didn't hear back from them but I've tried again now and I was lucky to get through and I spoke to Robert Jermaine and um, I used the opportunity to ask him a couple of things. Um, so first of all in terms of the pouches he, he actually thought it was a very valid question um, and he said that there's a difference between plastic pouches and foil pouches foil pouches he said will they are more of a barrier and they will last longer um, but the plastic ones he didn't recommend more than a few months um, to keep them in there otherwise transfer them to a airtight glass container um, such as the mason jar um, I was talking to him about special etiquette of lake and blah blah um, so that was the first point the second point I wanted to share with you was dating on their packets so I asked him about that, whether it was possible to date the tobaccos. So um, I just made a note on it. The B on this code here, you've got 703, which is a code for their information, some other issue, some other information that they need to know. The B is 2017. So presumably this year it will be C, but we'll see on, on a next time I get a tin from them or a, or a packet from them. We'll see if that holds true. Um, and 10 is the month of October. So um, this particular packet was October 2017. Um, so that's uh, an interesting thing to know, and it's just good uh, information. We always look on the hunt for information like that, and I wasn't aware until I saw that that one could date Jermaine's product. I don't know if it's on the old tins as well. If that if that uh, code is on the tins, I'll have to uh, open my cellar at some point and have a look at that. Um, so that's really all I wanted to share. Um, I uh, was in touch with GQ Tobaccos today. Um, they've uh, received a decent uh, delivery of Jermaine's tobacco, so if you're interested in getting some, they they will be well stocked at the moment. I think they've got some rich dark flake in, they've got some special Atakia flake in. Um, I didn't ask them about any of the others, but um, I've uh, since, I can't remember who it was, but since a person left a message about supporting your local tobacconist, I've really made a point of doing that. And I have to say that the the service that I've received from uh, from Sam at the GQ Tobaccos has been second to none. Um, they've been absolutely superb. So if you really, you know, you want to get any of any product, whether it's a pipe or tobaccos or accessories, um, really, you know, I can't fault it. It's got they've got a nice front end on the website, um, and um, 
Sam very very easy to deal with very polite very helpful very accommodating um, and uh, I can only offer praise so far so far so good hopefully it'll carry on that way um, and it, the important thing is is that you know that I have dealt with tobacconists in the past and I have had on one of my previous videos when I mentioned about supporting a local tobacconist one person left a message um, in the bucket and he said something along the lines of, yeah, he went into a, a tobacconist and he got short shrift from the people at the desk. It was a woman or something. And she just wasn't interested. And it was it was almost as if, you know, he'd asked some offensive question when he asked to see some of the tobaccos. Um, and, you know, that's that's a complete false economy. People who behave that way in, in a kind of uppity, elitist kind of manner. What, what's the point? I mean, the whole point of, of having a shop is, is to attract customers and to serve them in a way which you know encourages them to come back for more business if you're going to put somebody off you know you might as well not be there so um gq tobaccos the, my interactions that i've had with them so far have been the complete opposite he's gone out of his way to accommodate me in any way that i uh, have kind of anything that i've asked him you know obviously within reason i'm not asking him something which uh, is not reasonable but anything that i've asked the service has been absolutely you know five star so I heartily recommend it and uh, he's obviously well stocked and I want some good tobacco so go for it thanks very much everybody I'm still smoking my bowl of London fog from this morning in the Nirup and um, I'm enjoying it so there we go if you haven't uh, seen my giveaway video watch it um, if you want to understand what the purpose of my uh, question is what I mean by my question check out Unicorn Piper's um, video because he absolutely hits the nail on his head. Um, ben did go on a bit, Ben. Yes, you did. Um, but it was in a good way. Um, I really appreciated the, the VR because you actually completely captured the spirit of my question. It was really... It's, it's not... I'm not really wanting to know about um, all the good things about the YTPC. They're all fantastic and, and we know them and we live them and we enjoy it. I want to know is the impact it's had in your life. Um, how it's changed things for you in your life and listen to Ben's uh, VR because he absolutely as I said he hits the nail on the head anyway catch you on the next one